Hey guys, uh, in this video I will show you how to use Loop Cloud. And uh, yeah, it seems like Propeller had recently teamed up with uh, Loop Cloud and I thought I would check it out. So uh, I'll show you how, how you can incorporate it into your workflow and your way of uh, finding samples. So basically you have all different instruments, different samples, you have genres, labels, formats, additional, and you have, this is my library right now. I, don't, I haven't bought anything. And here is the store where you can buy more. Uh, samples. So basically, let's say I want to use some of these loops. What's great about this loop cloud is that all the loops are in sync with your song. So what you see here, I set up the loop cloud VST in uh, my recent project. So when I play a song here in this uh, in loop cloud program it plays here in reason so and you have all the information here about the loop you have it you see there it's 95 bpm and uh, and if it has tones you can see if it's a C F I guess if it's chords you can see it's a minor 7 there's a lot like there's thousands thousands of samples here so let's say I want to uh, uh, import this uh, drum loop and the problem with it is okay first I have to download the high quality file and then it says here, drag and drop the original file to your DAW or to disk. Problem is when I do this, it's not working. So, and yeah, I guess that's the problem with Reason. You can't, you can't do that with Loop Cloud. So what I've done instead is I've set up my uh, special Loop Cloud folder. And I've set, put it up here in preset. So here are all my downloaded uh, loops and samples from the loop cloud. Let's see this future shill hops. And it's part of the loop master welcome free sample pack. So loop master free welcome pack, future shill hop, and here. And as you can hear now, it's uh, 95 BPM. So it's not no longer in sync with my 120 BPM tempo. But uh, so there's two ways to get this loop in sync. Either I can lower my sound file to 95. And then you will see it syncs up with the grid correctly. Or let's remove this, put it back uh, up to 120, you can import it. And now you see it doesn't uh, doesn't line up correctly with the grid. So instead I can hold control, then pull it uh, to here because I know it's a four bar loop so it's supposed to be four bars and you can see now now it's in sync with the grid so it's I mean it's not as fluent as I thought it would be but I mean it's it's still a convenient way to store your samples and I I think I mean I like that they hand out these are this week's free samples, which so every week you get 150 free samples that you can claim here. 
I think that's pretty cool and I think if you register now via propeller head you get 500 points that you can use in the store and I mean they have everything here so check it out if you're looking for samples loops or whatever or you just like need some inspiration you can just go in here click around so thank you for watching don't forget to like and subscribe thank you bye